Thank you very much. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Larry. And since I'm from Scotland, a lot of Australians find it difficult to understand uh, my face. <laughs> I never know if you're actually friendly in this country or if you're just nice to me because you think I've only got a few months left in me. It's lovely to be here, man. I was, uh, last time I was in Australia, I went to yoga, right? And I know I don't look like I go to yoga, right? But I go regularly, usually just to watch. <laughs> Not so much a namaste vibe, more of a can I stay? <laughs> and I went up to the reception, and the lady behind the reception was like, hello? And I went, hello, I've got a booking for Larry Dean, right? Which is a bit of a mouthful in a Scottish accent, right? So I wasn't offended when she went, I'm so sorry, I can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> so I thought, I'll translate it for her. And I went, hello, I've got a booking for Larry Dean. <laughs> if, oh, thank you. If you're uh... <laughs> If you're wondering where I've learned the accent from, it's from... If you have a flybys card, please scan it now. <laughs> well, I know that's just one type of Australian accent, and there's lots of different... I've been to Australia enough to know that there's different dialects, and uh, there's words that you use in Melbourne that they don't use in Sydney, uh, like, uh, thank you. <laughs> But I don't think I could pull off being Australian myself. I'm, I'm too intense. Uh, it's because I've got ADHD. I was diagnosed this year via Facebook status. <laughs> it's ADHD or OCD. I might just be dyslexic. <laughs> All I know is I've got a free laptop. <laughs> I wasn't even going to talk about this on stage tonight, but I suppose that's my community's affliction. Um, the ADHD community, uh, not, not the LGBT community. Fucking hell, I'm riddled. And <laughs> <laughs> What are you, Larry? I'm ADHD LGBT, so I identify as an eye exam. <laughs> yeah, I've always been a bit weird and a bit different, but uh, the good thing is... <laughs> <laughs> In school, though, man, oh, it's proper weird in school. When I was a kid, right, I used to go and see a therapist when I was a kid, right, but this was in 1990s Glasgow, so everyone in my school knew I was going to see one. It wasn't like nowadays of like, oh, no, confidentiality, must protect the child. <laughs> <laughs> my teacher used to go, oi, Larry Dean, it's two o'clock, time for you to see the therapist. <laughs> And I remember standing up at the back of the classroom in silence and everybody's just staring at me. And I was walking through and in my head I was proudly thinking, that's right, I'm mental. <laughs> so thought, nobody's ever going to pick on me now. <laughs> Because you pick on the weird kid, you never pick on the mental kid. <laughs> the weird kid will give you the lunch money, the mental kid will throw poo at you. <laughs> or they'll go and watch you do yoga 15 years later. <laughs> Folks, you've been absolutely lovely. Thank you for having me in your lovely city. I've been Larry Dean. Thank you.